Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at another 30 minutes mission skit. This is the army type version of the Spinatio. So we'll take a look at this in today's video. And I've also got the commando type of the Spinatio, which we'll take a look at in the next 30 minutes missions review. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the army type. Alright guys, starting off taking a look at the box and its contents here, you got a very cool look of the army type Spinatio there on the front. I do really like how it does look like extra armored up. And of course the color scheme does look very cool and very fitting to the style of as well. So you got some action scenes kind of playing out there in the background and then like kind of the base Spinatio there uh, picture behind this new armored army version of the Spinatio right there on the front. So very cool. In the 30 minutes missions line, this is gonna be number 42, as we can see here on the side of the box. And on the bottom of the box, you can not only tell just how thin this box is, but here we got some images featuring the base Spinatio with all the parts we have included here. So it's basically all gonna be probably all on one runner, I would assume for just all the extra parts we're gonna be adding on. But here's a look at the actions, some of the things that you can do with the articulation of the base kit and then exchange armor to the more armored up version. Again, here's how it looks with the combat knife, and all that, and then you, of course you can customize this with other different stuff from the 30 minutes missions line, part sets, or just combining kits themselves. And then over here on the other side of the box comes some vertical artwork here, again showing the base unit and then the armor just kind of separated off like that. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. So like I said, just a little bit of stuff in there. Interesting, the manual, I guess like the box itself, has a black background rather than the white background, which is what seems to be pretty typical as far as I can remember for most of the 30 minutes missions line. But anyway, you got some information over here in Japanese and in English about the army type specifically and about this Spinatio in general. Some background story information there and then down here, get some information on the factions, the Earth Alliance forces with its Alto, the Bailon forces with its Portanova, and now the Maxion forces with its Spinatio as it being like their main unit. On the back side here, a look at how the runners are broken down per sections of the build and part of the construction there. We've got our parts list here and all of the construction of the kit. And then we do have a little bit here about customizing this with different uh, sets available. Of course, you can do that with all the different sets available in the 30 minutes missions line. But getting into the runners here is our polycaps PC7 for some polycap ball joints. Runners A1 and A2 here, A1 being in a dark green, A2 being in a clear fluorescent green. Runners B1 and B2 here are going to be in this lighter olive green color. Runners C1 and C2 are combined here, going to be all of our joint and hand parts in gray for the 30 minutes missions frame 2 runner. And the runners D1 and D2 are in a darker olive green color for looks to be probably all of our new armor parts as well as our new weapon there. So Alright guys, starting off taking a quick look at the base form, we'll check it out just because it's here, but obviously the main thing you're going to want to do with this is armor it up with some different armor pieces, or I mean you might have some cool ideas on how you can utilize the base form as it is, I think it's interesting, it's definitely made for customization though I think, so we'll go ahead and get into that in just a moment. It's got all the standard articulation that you might expect here, just a basic ball joint there at the shoulder, a nice bend there at the elbow, pretty nice bend here in the waist section just being on a ball joint there, rotation as well. The head is pretty cool, you can see the kind of eye detail up underneath the visor, but like the fact of it not having like any sort of mouth or chin or that sort of like squid mouth kind of thing there, it looks kind of weird. Obviously it's not going to have all the characteristics of a human face, but it does look a bit strange. Anyway, the clear part looks cool. The hip joint is the type that will drop down for a very nice forward articulation there nice full knee band that kind of tucks in between this part there at the back for a good full bend and a nice range of movement here at the ankle as well every which way so lots of great detail and the important thing is lots of hard points around on the kit including here on the sides of the hips. One thing you may notice though is that here in the shoulders is typically where the shoulder armor will plug down onto that but there's not really enough space for that and that is why we have an optional piece here for the arm. What we're going to do is swap out that piece for this one, which as you can see has a little bit more of a gap there, and that's where your shoulder armor is going to connect onto. So that's the only piece you're going to really need to change out for this. There you can see it creates that gap, so then now we can pop that shoulder armor down onto there like so. This knee armor attaches onto the bottom of the thigh right there. Shin armor into this rectangle hole just below that. 
Around on the back side, you have this new back plate, which will still maintain the three hole system there for attaching any backpack type accessories onto there. And it also gives you this point right here where you can attach more stuff onto the bottom of the back. Back around to the front, you've got this chest armor piece, just plugs right onto there like so. We're not actually gonna be using these attachment points here on the side skirts, just a front skirt that plugs onto the front. And the opposite piece here around on the back, again, adding more armor, which is filling the hard points that are existing there, but it's also still maintaining plenty of hard points to add stuff onto here further. And you can see where these two pieces connect into each other, they don't connect fully, so that you still have that kind of bar detail there where you can clip something onto the side if you wanted to. Lastly, here for the face, we're going to plug this right on into that kind of mouth hole that it's got. And there it's got much more of a convincing looking mask there on the face and you can still see the eyes which look kind of weird now still through that green part but if you're just focusing on the green visor it does look pretty cool. You got some hand options but only one set of back armor pieces for the hands so you have to swap those when you want to swap these but you have open hands for the left and the right side. And also for the right side an alternative holding hand with a bent wrist which will be useful for like larger weapons and things like that. For the weapons we've got its main rifle here which as you can see does have have the hard point there on the top for attaching like a scope or something onto there. Hard point here on the side where you could attach this just as like a male to male connector and then mount this onto the back of the kit or something like that just for storage. And then the front is this small square type plug which if you are familiar with any of the other 30 minutes missions option sets there's a lot of other different option weapons that you could then plug the alternate barrels onto the front of here if you wanted to. So that just fits into the hand really easily. You got the shield which on the front is symmetrical kind of up or down doesn't really have any particular way to go but on the back here you've got a female connection point and a male connection point so you can choose how you want to use that. This unfortunately doesn't come with a connection piece that will allow you to plug this onto the side of the arm so that means you have to plug it onto the back of the arm in this hard point back around here on the elbow. Kind of unfortunate because then that means you need to keep the arm like sideways like so. And your last accessory here is just going to be this large combat knife which again has hard points both male and female type there on that so you can plug this onto anywhere on the kit. I suppose it makes good sense just to plug it for example right there onto the backpack but I'm noticing one thing that I've noticed with 30 minutes missions kits in the past even though all the holes are supposed to be the same size of three millimeters some of them are tighter than others and this one is just a little bit loose in here for example so you might want to just do whatever you need to do to just kind of tighten that up. Either add a little bit of tape or glue or something around on this uh, peg right there just so that it's a little bit of a tighter fit if that's how you wanted to display it. Or, you know, just keep it in the hand if you wanted to do that. One last thing that you're going to have left over in the box, which seems like just a leftover part, is also a quite useful piece here. It just has this little clip, and this is something that you can clip onto different areas wherever you have this kind of shape clip like this. Then you can turn into a peg where you can attach other, you know, more pieces onto there again. It can also be attached here onto the side skirt, or like I said, up here onto the shoulder. So say, for example, you wanted to do that and then plug your shield up onto the shoulder like so. You can do that if you had two of these kits, then you could have a one shield on each shoulder like that. You could really further buff this kit out even more. So all right guys, in conclusion, I think this is another really great addition to the line. The fact that you basically have two forms that you can build this in, as just the base Spinatio in cool army colors, or as the fully armed up army type, that gives you some nice options. And you could go for like a half armored look, and then you've got cool options with your weapons, the shield, the rifle, and the combat knife. Pretty standard type weapons, it's nothing really out of the ordinary, but it gives you some good options to choose from there and of course there's plenty more options that you can go with if you get some option weapon sets. Overall it's got a really great look. I like how armored up and beefy it looks at the top but then it gets kind of very narrow that at the legs. It's got like the really small feet and it's quite lacking in armor around like the hip section and this is a problem that I had with the Esposito kit as well. I really liked the design of that except for right around the hip so it just seems like with these designs being pretty lacking in their skirt armor it just makes it look like it's got a little bit, a little bit of an empty space. It's just not really covered so again that's something that you can pretty easily customize with just some different custom parts you can add some skirting type armor on there and I think that should help fill out the design a little bit but what are your guys thoughts on this design is it one that you like or dislike maybe share some cool maybe share some cool custom ideas that you might have for this down in the comment section below and if you're wanting to check out any of the 30 minutes missions kits of course you can check them out at USA Gundam store the link will be down in the video description below as always but again guys thanks so much for checking out the video today if you have further questions do let me know but if you'd like to like and subscribe make sure you see some more content on the way be greatly appreciated thanks so much until next time hope you guys are all having a great day i'll see y'all later Bye bye